How to use the Eden Editor's left panel. What's up everybody, this is Gunter Servolo. I'm going to show you how to use the Eden Editor's left panel, which is also known as the Entities panel. This panel is important and I'm going to show you why. Let's go to the Editor. I'm going to go to Virtual Reality. We are now in the editor and here we have two panels. On the right we have the asset panel and this asset panel is what you use to place assets or entities in your mission. So assets or entities are basically units or soldiers, vehicles, planes, tanks, objects, and other things like triggers, markers, and or systems. On the left here, we have our entities panel. It says entities at the top, and then you have locations. Locations is basically based on the map that you're on, and since virtual reality is only one location, it's one area, then it's only gonna show virtual reality. If you had a map with multiple towns or villages, then those multiple villages or towns would be listed here. So we're gonna be working with entities today and I'm gonna show you why this panel is important, useful, and will save you a lot of time if you know how to use it. As you can see here, we have a search box and you could basically just follow the instructions there. It'll give you some information of how to search for things. And then we have collapse all and expand all. What's gonna happen with these two buttons until you actually have some entities or units or something placed in the editor itself. Everything that you place in the editor is gonna show up on the left hand side. And the first thing that you place, at least for a, a, a unit or a soldier, even a car, anything with a playable unit in it is going to be red. How we know this is attributes, it'll say player and the box is checked. That's how we know it is the player. So the player will always be in red and if you place another unit, the next unit will be white. Now if you set him to be playable, so you have player and playable, you click that box, then what he'll be is purple so players are red playable units are purple and other assets or units will be a white color so that's how you know or can identify what is what in terms of playable units. there are categories for everything you placed so you have O4 faction independent civilian empty ambient life triggers systems markers and comments. So if we place something from OB4, that would go into the OB4 section. We place something from independent, it'll be in the independent section. Civilian, it'll be in the civilian section. Something from empty, we'll go into empty, ambient life, we'll show up under ambient life, and then we have triggers. You could place a trigger. That'll show up under triggers and we have systems. Doesn't matter what the object or asset is, it'll show up accordingly in the appropriate category based on what it is. And you have markers. And then we have comments. are. If you are working with just the open space, you can delete things by clicking on it and highlighting it and then pressing delete on your keyboard. That'll delete it from the workspace itself and it'll also delete it from the entities panel. So as you can see it, it was removed. Being a marker, you have to go to the map in order to delete it. Another way to delete assets or objects or things in the in the workspace is to just click on it in the left panel and then you could either go down to where the trash can is and click on delete or you can click on the entity and press delete on your keyboard and it'll also remove so as you can see as a delete them 
when you place units in the editor in this workspace every time you place a single unit they are going to be separate what i mean by separate they're going to be in in their own group so right now the player which is this guy is in his own group so i placed an ass assistant auto rifleman he's in his own group placed a competitor he's in his own group now what if we wanted to condense these two and group these to the player right right click them group and group them to the player and then they'll condense so if we added more units more units to the player and group them to the player then you see the list will grow and if we wanted to delete something as you can see here we could do that another thing I want to point out is you could see the icons in the asset browser so if I placed an asset I got all these assets. What we have here is units with icons. What do these icons mean? Each one of these icons represents a DLC. At least these do. Whatever mod that you placed, it will also have its own icon. And that's how you know what an entity, where an entity is from. Now, if you didn't want any DLC content, then you could just delete them. But that's basically how you know what is what. So anything that doesn't have an icon is a vanilla asset, which means it's from Arma 3 itself. Like a DLC, you'll see the icon. Anything from a mod will ha also have an icon. So we got all these guys. Let's say we group these guys to the player and condense the category. So now we have a squad we have a full squad and let's say you wanted to make them all playable so what you do instead of editing like normally you would draw a box around them to highlight them all because that's how you edit edit them and you'll notice that whatever you highlight in the workspace or in the editor that it'll highlight also in the asset panel that's if you have the asset panel opens because you can close it you can hide it so if you have all these guys highlighted, normally you would right click them and you go to attributes and you can make them playable. Hit OK and now they're all playable. Now another way to do this through the entities panel is to basically click on one and then hold shift and click on the next one. So instead of just going one, 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 just go one and then hold down left shift and then go to the top one and it'll highlight them all then right click go down to attributes make playable hit ok and if we can come out of there now they're all playable there you go we're gonna open up a uh, a mission that i built some of you might be familiar with my mission but this mission is a huge mission with over 1700, 1700 objects. When you have something like this where you're going to have a lot of objects and a lot of different things in your mission, then you're going to want to save time and really use the entities panel. Now, as you can see that this panel is expanded. Remember I was saying earlier that you can collapse or expand but you can only do that when there's assets in the panel itself. So now that we have a ton of assets, we can collapse it. And what you'll see here is that each category is lit up based on what's in that category. What I'm going to show you here is going to save you a lot of time. Now let's say we are in the markers section. All right, so right now we're in markers. And we wanted to set the transparency to all these markers so they could be seen on the map. Right now they're not. So what we would do is double click it. And the edit box will open up. 
and down here under alpha is the transparency what what that's for is basically to show or hide it on the map markers will be shown or hide hidden on the map so if i set the transparency to 100 100 percent that means it should be fully seen if i do the rest of these it's going to take a lot of time for me to set all these so here's another one here's another one Here's another one. So you see how tasking that is? I mean, I could actually individually do each one, but of course I, I can't, I mean, I, I can't really see the other ones. I could click on them and make it transparent. So that worked. Let's say I wanted to make this entire list transparent. Basically, I want to see all these markers on the map. So what you do is you click on one, hold down left shift, and then click on the last one, which will basically highlight them all. The green, it'll make them all green. Hold, keep holding left shift down and then right click, not double click, but right click and go down to attributes. And what you'll see here, you go down to where it says marker style and then you'll see the transparency boxes right here. What you'll need to do is check this box so basically what it says is says there it says enable to set the attributes for all the selected entities you just check that box and that makes this box functional and then from there you just what i usually do i just lower it and then i raise it up and i hit ok and you'll see that all the ones you just we just did all get changed now, if you wanted to undo that, then just hold down left shift, right click, go to attributes, undo what you did, and then hit OK, and that'll shut them all off, or basically just turn the transparency off. Now, let's say you wanted to find a specific asset on the map. All right, let's say we were somewhere else on the map. All right, let's say we were over here and that's the camera so basically we're looking at this spot and let's say we have some entities right here this is our spot this is what we're looking at so you can see the entities right here now let's say we wanted to go to the player instead of actually zooming out which is stupid. It's such a waste of time. I mean, I see the icons, but now I got to travel my camera all the way over there. Or the other way is to go to your map, your 2D map, and you can see where the camera's at. Zoom out and then zoom in. And okay, here's the player. But if we didn't do that, and our camera was right here, you could use the entities panel to go to different locations that you want. So what you do, you right click it and you go to where it says, go here. If you go here, it'll take you right to where that asset is. So if I hit, if I go to the map, the camera will be basically at that location of where I chose on the entities. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a layer. We're gonna click this folder it'll create what's called a layer and you just double click it a box will open up you can name it what you want this is soldiers and you can en enable transformation you can enable visibility so basically we'll just leave those on and what we could do here is basically drag and drop these guys each one of these guys into this layer and we're going to leave the player if we re-edit it and change the layer enable visibility uncheck that box hit ok you're going to see that it will hide that layer that's one way to basically kind of minimize the amount of stuff that's on the screen at once so you can create layers for them if you want to delete a layer instead of individually like I said before instead of individually deleting each one you could just click on the layer title and click delete or if you click it again you could just press delete on your keyboard and it'll delete it now the other aspects to the panel 
is if you create if you click on an asset right click it you get different stuff so you can play as the character you could select different things from it you can edit it you can transform it you could log its class name you could find it in the asset browser save as a composition find an asset browser which does this all from the left panel config viewer you could edit his loadout which puts you in arsenal you could reset his loadout and you can go to attributes which will basically edit the unit normally when you edit a unit you're you're in the workspace and you double click you get the edit combat lifesaver you're just basically all the assets or all the things that make up this this particular unit but from here you could do it as well it does the same thing this concludes the tutorial uh, I hope you find this useful and informative and gives you a different perspective on how to use the left panel or the entities panel I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video bye